Love it or list it, here's the front of London's King's Cross Station in 1974. This frontage was often controversial, but behind it, a train spotter's paradise for a variety of modernisation plan locomotives, seen from the ends of the platforms. My selection is of a Deltic, used on the crack East Coast Mainline Expresses. A Class 40, sometimes used on the Grimsby services, and one of the ubiquitous Class 47s. This one in the two-tone green I always liked. You can also notice a Class 31 lurking in the background. And here's the busy signal box with the blue enamel sign from British Railways days. In the 1970s the Great Northern Suburban lines were still diesel operated. The DMUs operating these services were a rather motley collection and here are some at King's Cross. In the rush hours they were supplemented by Class 31s hauling Mark I Suburban compartment stock, a bit unusual, and here's one outside King's Cross with the electrification works in progress, and another two heading north home through Hadley Wood. One of the drivers gave me a wave. <laughs> here's a new electric multiple unit under construction at York Works for the electrification of these lines. Wood Green, now known as Alexandra Palace, had a lovely array of semaphore signals as well as a manual signal box which a DMU is passing in this picture. Peak hour trains also went to Moorgate via the widened lines and here's York Road platform at King's Cross just before the trains disappeared into the tunnel. Others found their way into the City of London through Broad Street a very sad looking station by the time these three pictures were taken. Thanks everyone for watching, hope you enjoyed. And I'd like to thank my sponsors on Kofi for helping me to make these films. And you can see the link here if you'd like to help me by buying a coffee. Thank you very much.